So we've already seen what bees are capable of when they get nuclear power, but we need to start over so we can send our bees to space. To and infinity. to do that, it's going to be mostly focusing on industry for us this time around while making sure we get everything else because we have quite a bit of work to do. Thankfully, our first wax factory is already up, so that's a pretty good start. Now we just need to make sure our bees give us extra bees by getting our kindergarten set up right away. So now we can make a bunch of soldier bees and then a good amount of worker bees, which are almost done giving us enough space for the research because we have a lot of construction upgrades to build or at least research in order to get the space ending and all these other spaces over here can go ahead and become pollen storage i would have used an old save to bring us right into the third era but the game didn't like me doing that so we have to do all, all this process it's fine though shouldn't take too long honey factory and once they're done burning all the pollen we can make the honey factory i probably could have put in the space to build it that would have been a smart idea and we will definitely get three of these going and we might as well research the spears so our soldiers can last more than a few waves but now they've built up the footprint for the first honey factory which is good oh wait that's not how i meant to do it whoops remove this i meant to do it like this and then the next one up like this and then the last one like this not whatever else i was doing that's more like it there we go will we have all the resources to improve our spears probably not that's fine though i don't think our soldiers really need to worry too much because it's just one little boy coming in and he's not gonna last very long i'll just let them play so I can focus on my own things. Oh, and they got to improve spears after all. That's good. Oh no, we ended up did losing a bee. I don't even know what I said. We lost a bee. Although it says zero bees died. Interesting. I guess whoever that was didn't count. I mean, hey, you can't see him anymore. It's like he never existed. But we need to get these honey factories set up as soon as possible so we can continue making more bees because that's the most important thing. And we are all out of honey. There we go. First honey factory going up. Now, hopefully they can figure out which one to put the resources into so they can get at least one thing of honey right away but no they just want to put things into the wax factories there we go there's some honey being made and they just bring some honey over for the research that's always good and let's go ahead and get our first thing of defense in there we go now we can get more bees they could probably use some more nectar storage as well and since we have a good supply of honey going in reserve let's go ahead and build another kindergarten and let's just keep the research rolling so we can constantly improve our tree here let's bring in the save yourself upgrade because keeping our bees safe is really good and the first Kavacha goes in. I could probably put another one right here. That's a good idea. Just in time for the next wave to begin. Only wave two. It's only wave two. We've done quite a bit in the meantime. And let's see. Let's line up the next one, which is range of the Kavachas. Actually, I don't even know what I'm concerned about saving the bees for. They can keep doing their work. Our soldiers are right on top of everything. Look at them go. There we go. Says we lost another bee, but not really. And now our kindergarten is starting to make more worker bees. Hello, dragonflies. So worker bees are good to have. Could probably use another worker b or three and then more soldiers as well let's go ahead and reduce the worker queue a little bit Ooh, our second kindergarten is going in that's good that means we can divvy up the queue so we'll keep this first one as worker or soldier bees and then this next one can make the workers and the builders or as the game calls them the getters and then we'll bring in the meat upgrade for more honey production speed our first kavacha is up so that's good we at least have some sort of counter against the dragonflies there we go now that our meat is researched let's get our soldier bees a bit more speed i still have to maintain some sort of military even though we're building to space there's also this random blank tile in the middle here what should i put here another kavacha maybe and i'm pretty sure to unlock the space ending we do have to research these decorative things like the small fountain so might as well get that going i'd say we're well defended enough against the dragonflies i guess we'll find out i'm honestly not too worried we should be able to fend them off there's the first dragonfly it does a little bit of a spray but it goes down shortly after so that's not too bad i don't think that toxin stuff is enough to destroy an entire hex in one go it isn't. That's good. Plus, it's just that one dragonfly to begin with, right? Yep, just the one. So now we have 14 regular bees, 16 soldiers, and we're starting to get our new builders in, so that's good, with plenty more soldiers on the way. And now we have a small fountain that we could put in if we really wanted to. Yay! Probably should have put this right here. That'd look fun. I wonder if it does something for the bees. I think it's just decorative. I'll tell you what isn't just decorative, though. A ballista. And the decorative buildings just go in without needing any resources. Nice. And let's just get this code a little space developed for that and over here ooh, we can reduce the research time i like the sound of that i didn't realize i was that early in the tree i never researched the small fountain so i had no idea very good the first ballista has a spot for it also this is where the honey storage is what's it doing under the construction tree on the behind the decorations 
What is this? I mean, thankfully now we can put in the second ballista and add a few more normal bees to the queue. There we go. Once we get that in, let's research the composite bowstring just so our ballista can do a little bit more damage. And then I should really start to plan some of the future buildings since we're close to the next era already. Let's see. The military barracks was something like that size, I think? Something like that. And I'll probably need another ballista down here. I really wish you could just group the bees being like this group go over collect pollen and only pollen this group go and collect nectar and only nectar and all that stuff but no you just gotta kind of hope that the bees know what they're doing which frankly they don't i don't think they're constantly just bumping into each other okay but now we can get the new era unlocked but before that let's give our soldiers a little bit more defense and building all these extra production facilities is nice but not when the bees can barely collect enough pollen to keep up that's why we need so many of them as well as an ever-expanding army of soldier bees and our ballista should be ready to do the work. Wherever the dragonflies come in first, there he is. And a ballista already shot down a wasp. That was nice. And booyah. Oh, I forgot the dragonflies take more than one bolt. Quick, get it. Oh, it takes three? I forgot about that. Oh, boy. Snipe him. Yeah, wonderful. Are you still not down? What is with you? Oh, great. That is a whole line of destroyed hexes. Not good. It didn't help that they were both lined up perfectly. That was annoying. And there's the news about the ladybugs. Oh, wonderful. No. At least now our soldier bees have nice little hats. And then we need to research the hardened wax factory in order to unlock the ambrosia, which is critical for everything else. I'm just going to prioritize some of these building spots so we can get more defenses up right away. So we can get a third ballista in, replace the kavacha that got down, and we are filling up on a lot of nectar, but not really the pollen, which is too bad because there's not really anything else we can use the nectar for right now until we can make ambrosia. Very good. Harden wax factory is being researched with a little bit of the time reduction going for it. So we are going to need a footprint for that going up right over here and over here so we can have two of them. And then let's go back and get the wax storage because we need to make sure to get all those researches. And we're actually making so many bees. It's hard for the queen bee to keep up with the egg production. Did not think I would have that problem. And here comes the next wave with the ladybugs, which is right over there. And that actually seems to be where the whole attack force is coming from. Okay, maybe not the whole attack force, but most of it. We still need to make sure to get rid of the dragonflies. Those wasps just get sniped. Oh, get the dragonfly out of here. Ah, that's this. Oh gosh, there's so many hexes going down like that. Ooh, thankfully we didn't lose a ballista though. I forgot I could take it over and I kind of just did. So hiya, get down. Yeah, beautiful. And oh no, you go down as well. Ha! There we go. And now the ladybug is the only thing left. I think I can go ahead and let them deal with it because they're immediately going to deal with it. Oh, uh, lots of repair work to do. I want to put up a barracks right here, but they don't want me to. So rude. I'm sorry, is that the ladybug still coming over? There it goes it down, it hopefully. Oh, boy, I think it no just hit its own larva bomb. Well, as long as I don't have to deal with it. And then we'll get the ambrosia factory as soon as possible. First hardened wax factory going in and the second one. And then the spaces between can go ahead and be wax storage. And then we'll refresh this current and then we'll refresh this kindergarten to give us more of the normal bees and some more soldiers because we always need more. I will need that barracks pretty soon though to get better soldier bees. So let's just go ahead and do that since we can now make the ambrosia we so desire and we'll be sure to make two of those. And now we have the first space to do that and do it twice and we have the barracks now. Good. So the last two things we need over here are filter and honey storage. Let's get the filter so that the honey production is cheaper. Also, how big is the barracks? Hey, I was right. Sort of. I guess this one got destroyed. Okay, but now we have hardened wax, which is good. At least the option to make it. We still have like next to zero pollen. I need a lot more worker bees. They also just like to keep running into each other, going back and forth from the plants. Watch Does it really general. slow them down any? I have no idea. They just kind of spin and keep going. Okay, now we're starting to get some pollen built up in reserve. And the hardened wax is starting to be made. Now, since I am getting hardened wax, I wonder if it's not time to research the anti-aircraft gun, just so that we can get weapons weapons that constantly fire and set to reload. There's only 10 seconds left. Eh, sure. Because we already have one and soon to be two full units of hardened wax. Just gotta hope our defenses are enough. I wonder if I can snipe a wasp from here. Hiya! And oh no, he missed. Shoot again. Ha! There we go. That's one down. Gonna get another one down. Beautiful strike. And those... Oh no, I can't point the gun that high. Hey, can you drop down a little bit? Hiya! Oh no, I missed. Oh yeah, where's the dragonflies? He's probably focusing on them since I'm one of the big defenses. Whoops. And that one somehow missed. There there's one going down and two going down. Nice. Uh-oh, there's a third one. Hey, that's that one down and the ladybug is here and I can't shoot it anymore. That's a problem. Well, it's out of my hands now. Let's quickly repair. Ooh, it went down. Woo! <laughs> oh no, we lost this spot for an ambrosia factory already. I 
That's just rude. At least we're getting the anti-aircraft guns researched, so we can get some spots for those. Pretty much next to the ballistas. And the last thing in the first era is the honey storage. There's the gunpowder notice. So we're starting to get tier two enemies. Okay, let's go ahead and get that second ambrosia factory back. And now we have a spot for the anti-air gun with just enough hardened wax to go and get that taken care of. And now the first era of the construction tree is done. Now we still need ambrosia to continue this research. So while we're waiting on that, let's research aluminum buckets so our bees can move faster. And the construction bees are really working to get this anti-air gun up. Ooh, now we have enough space for the barracks to go in. Very nice. Anti-aircraft gun number two can go right over here. I'll be honest, I'm not putting as much research into military and defenses as I normally would. So I'm really hoping to just speed run the research so we don't have to deal with the moths too often. Also, can I have an ambrosia factory yet, please? Okay, but I need to research something to keep the tree going. Bigger capacity. There we go. Now we're starting to get the ambrosia factory, which my goodness, this thing takes a while to produce. And since we're going to be making soldiers at this barracks now, once we have that, we can turn the second kindergarten into exclusively worker bees or builder bees. We already have worker bees queued up in this one. And why don't we go ahead and get the Thor's hammer research underway so they can build faster. There, the second ambrosia factory is here. Hopefully our new guns keep up with the gunpowder things. Let's just go ahead and get that started really early. Yeah, there they go. Rocket dragonflies. So rude. Just wait for them to turn around and they're coming back. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Shoot all the things. No, I didn't mean you to keep shooting. Ah, just go down. One of you go down, please. And come on. Yes, that one's down. Now this one. Ha ha. All right. This little hornet needs to go away. Oh gosh. Ladybug made a second run. Bring you down. Good. And then that one down. All right. That's quite a bit of loss that we took, I feel like. Actually, I'm not noticing too much different, except this one and this one. Oh, we lost honey storage. Thankfully, I researched that. Speaking of, why don't we go ahead and get agitation so we get a few more free allies. And the military barracks is up so we can go ahead and just queue up a whole bunch of soldiers forever. It's nice to finally be able to put in honey storage again. And I guess some of the other things we lost were pollen storage. So let's put those back. Okay, now our bee losses are starting to show up, which is to be expected. Honestly, I saw them dying a lot sooner, but the game doesn't like to tell me that. There we go. Agitation. A lot of honey and some ambrosia. Let's go. Okay, good news is our pollen stores are starting to be filled up completely. I like that. That means we have plenty to work with. Honestly, probably too much. I should... I feel like I should be doing something. You know what? Let's just put in another anti-air gun because you can never have too many. There we go. Agitation research and we'll be able to use it before the next wave shows up. Definitely need more of these. At least so that we can use the hardened wax for more things, which we are going to need to pretty soon. But what I want right now is a school because that will open up the way for the wax alloy to make sure our buildings can sustain a little bit more damage. Okay, hopefully four AA guns is the answer to this next wave as well as a few soldier bees. But now the hornets are armored, so that's cool. Oh, I totally forgot about the thing. Agitation, get some free allies that I can no longer tell the difference between them and the enemies. But we'll just bring down the dragonflies all the way. And dragonflies get knocked way off course. That's fun to see. And the ladybug is already dropping a larva right onto the barracks. That's... Oh no, Kavacha! It's fine though. Maybe I should just replace those with rockets. And also just pepper the ladybug with so many things. Did we win yet? There's the win. Okay, once again, haven't lost too much, which is good. And now we can get wax alloy, which we are already researching. Amazing. And I think we can also get more honey storage set up over here because we seem to be backed up in that supply. And since we can build the school, how big is this? Oh, pretty big. It's as big as the research station. Goodness. Might as well just put it right next to the research station. Something kind of like that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and research the rocket launchers so we can replace the kavachas. And our bees are really on top of putting down new hexes. I guess they really want to use the wax. But the school goes in, which only costs wax. That's pretty nice. Now we just got to plan where to put the rocket launchers, which... Psh, planning. I just slap them down wherever they fit. Woo, that school builds really fast. Wow, amazing. Oh, look at this. They got a little courtyard with... Is that a... That's a mobster bee. What is going on here? What is this? <laughs> I don't know what sort of statue this is supposed to be, but all it needs is a sticky note. That is amazing. I love that so much. Let's just go ahead and queue up some builder bees. What exactly are they going to do? I don't know. I kind of want to watch this happen, but we also need to research more. So let's research the... Let's research the park. That looks like it'll go pretty fast. We have a lot of nectar stored up. Ooh, there we go. School is underway. Also, that one statue disappeared. So builder flies up and oh, over. Oh, and then he builds a statue as like his final exam. Well, that's fun. I really like this statue and I don't know why. Oh, look at it. It's all, oh, and then he paints it. 
or he kind of painted it. He halfway painted it. He needs a little more orange. We can honestly put in some decorations right there because I kind of want to. All the palm trees cost things or do they? They don't. I can just put in things. Yay. All right. But anyways, back to what I was doing. Rocket launcher and rocket launcher and rocket launcher and another one. All right. We don't have much time left, but we are almost done with this era of construction. So let's research the foreman so that the building speed of those bees get reduced. And now all that's left for these kindergartners to really do is make me some more getter bees because that's a fun name to say. And look at him. They got builder spray things. I'm not too sure what that means, but he is quickly getting overwhelmed by all the level one worker bees. Amazing. Okay, hopefully our builder level two bees can keep up with the lots of damage that we're going to get. At least we have the wax alloy so we can sustain a little more damage and hopefully take down these hornets in good time. Hey, hey, we took down that one in good time. Whoa, hi there. Goodbye. Go away. Never come back. Look at that builder right there. He's hard at work repairing the rocket launcher. Ah, go away. And now there's so many builder bees in the way. I can't see anything. Get out of here. I was mainly talking to the dragonfly saying, get out of here. The builder bees are doing amazing. Just go down. Please go down. Thank you. Hi there. Now we just need to take the ladybug down as well. Wonderful. And I actually don't think we really lost any buildings, but now we can get to the new era. Ooh, and we can reduce the time for research even more. I like this idea. And now we have the fancy level three hexes that we need to convert to storage. And the big storage is going in in three, two, one. Okay. Second era of construction is complete. Now we need to work on the third one. Oh, hey, there's the mods. Great. I was definitely waiting on those and not dreading them showing up before I'm even halfway through the third era tree. And we're so close to full on the ambrosia. Hey, there it is. Perfect. Speaking of the agitation, we can get that again. Okay, at least we have more research we can go with. So let's go ahead and get some live in peace research so we can get more hornets to our side. I would like to see this be an option before the wave shows up, but I don't know how likely that is. At least we have all the honey that we need to make that happen. It's just a matter of the ambrosia, which everybody needs right now. Honestly, I'm not too sure how many more builder bees we need because we have 35 right now, so we could probably put the school on hold right as soon as this bee is finished. Go on, build that statue of your overlord. At least these bees know who's really in charge. Look at him. Beautiful. Okay, so now no more resources should be going to the school. That's fine by me. Now we just need one more pot full of ambrosia, which I actually think we have. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, how long is this to research? A minute. Good, we will have it. I also have the option to build a medical center. Is this really worth it? I don't know how worth it it's going to be. Although soldiers getting help is a good idea. Might as well give them a go. There we go. Very nice. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. It just adds on top of the other cooldown. Oh, great. Oh, hold on. We have shown ourselves to be worthy opponents. Disagreements are flaring up the, in the enemy army. A new button appears. When you click, half the enemies leave the battlefield. Ooh. And here come the mods. This is gonna be rough. There's already one right there. I'll just pepper it early and also call our bees to cower. Hide. Start attacking the mods. Take down the mods. Oh no. That's a really bad attack run. Oh, Kamacha just went down. I don't even care about anybody else. Just going straight for the moth. I don't like that you're coming back around. Oh, okay. I took it down. Very nice. Now let's get rid of everybody else. Just go away, all of you. How many times do I need to say it? As primitive as the ballistas are, it is really nice to see the bolts just go sailing across and make their mark. Okay. How bad was our losses? Some storage, it looks like, and some other things, but overall, not too bad. And we will be able to activate the reinforcements before the next wave shows up, which is good. And we are researching the fierce needing. That's good. Oh, no, we lost the hospital. Man, I was working on building that just because I want to see these medic bees in action. Am I really going to use them? I don't know. I just want them. I guess the good news, too, about having so many bees that are just kind of milling about is whenever a job does need to be done, they're like right on top of it. Okay, now let's get the the carbon bucket so our bees are faster. There we go. Now we can put in the hospital. Now the big fountain should be pretty quick because we have a lot of nectar. At least I think we do. But now we can call on even more allies to our side. Oh yeah, big swarm of hornets in. Beautiful. Sadly, it doesn't look like the builder bees got any faster, but they built up the hospital really quickly, so that's good. It's just too bad it takes ambrosia and hardened wax. I almost see another ambrosia factory. I probably do because not a lot gets built up at a time. Anyway, the enemies are here, and we're starting to get some regular hornets in here. Oh, oh no, that was an individual one. This is gonna be a big wave coming in. I can already tell. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I need to quickly finish out this tree. Also, the hornets that we're getting are now the futuristic ones. That's really 
really cool to see. Is there a special animation for the medic bees? I honestly don't know. I haven't bothered to look. All right, let's go ahead and get some synthetic materials in here. That should be fun. While we're at it, get another ambrosia factory set up right here. And our bees are working incredibly fast. I like it. And look, the medic bee is healing all the soldier bees. Uh, very aggressively too. And man, all those builder bees together are so fast. Plus we can increase their speed even more. That's gonna be ridiculously fast. Three, two, one. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and get to the stars so that we can see how many more unlocks we need to get the choice that we want because we're almost there. And thankfully our structures can create a lot more resources now. All right, just... 15 more seconds on this research, which is right before the wave, which is good. Three, two, one, choice is ours. All right. Oh, hey, we actually can get it. Nice, right before the wave shows up. Should I wait around and see what this wave has? I think I can, just because I have the ending available to me already. See up, there's another moth right there. Striking that early is a good idea. I wanna see it catch on fire at least before it makes a pass over. Good, it is on fire. And there's another moth. Ooh, first one's down, very nice. I don't even know who to shoot at. How about you? Because you got evil red eyes. That's how I can tell you're an enemy. Did a moth make another Passover or are they all dead? I don't know. Just gonna snipe this dragonfly with a howitzer. Whammo and whammo. Oh, I missed. Strike them down. Strike them all down. We got this. There we go. That's another one. And is this the last one? Not quite, but there it is. Oh my goodness. We took a lot of losses there. We lost a kindergarten there was a ballista there there was a few things around here so yeah that was aggressive but we can get the ending that we want so we'll go ahead and do it honey is not waiting bee island sending all of our bees into a rocket and launching <laughs> what are bees gonna do in space i honestly don't know but, oh, that's a cool picture. And then they find a new planet to inhabit so they can set up a hive all over again. Interplanetary Honey Inc. Bee Island. I think I like that ending more than the nuke. The hive will prosper. Well, there was another ending to this game, but honestly, I'm okay with the one that we got. I think the construction ending is the best one. So you guys will just have to let me know if you do want to see that last ending. Thank you very much for watching this one, and we'll see you in the next time. Sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota to see Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sex, The Real Nickname, Edward, Peggy Sue, Droop Along, TJB, and Seriously Sarcastic.